Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. It is cold here, but I mean, I have heat. <laughs> it's just that I really like to turn the heat off and just get really cozy <laughs> in cozy clothes. Um, and also it makes a lot of noise when I'm trying to record. I'm so excited because I just got some new earrings. <sighs> I love them. I just absolutely love them. They say, what would Dolly do? And I just know, I know every day of my life, Dolly Parton is with me in my heart and in my soul. She's like my spirit animal. And I deeply believe ever since I watched Smoky Mountain Christmas as a child, I have always deeply believed that Dolly Parton is my real mother. <sighs> and she's gonna come back for me someday. She lost me when there was some kind of a house fire and she's gonna come back for me someday and we'll be together forever. So today is a good day because it's one day closer <laughs> to the time when Dolly Parton comes to take me away. But I digress because I'm actually here today to talk to you guys about Sherry Papini, my girl, Sherry, 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 Sherry. Okay. All right. All right. No more Christmas music. Cause I'll tell you one thing. My girl Dolly Parton loves everyone, but she, there's one person she would not like very much. And that's gotta be Sherry Papini. So cut. Stop the music. Let's talk about what's going on with Sherry Papini on Reddit. Okay, most of you probably know because I've been talking about it. Sherry Papini got released from a halfway house like a couple of weeks ago, and she walked out of that halfway house like somebody who had somewhere to go and someone to be with. Especially, it was especially obvious in her like chest area. You know, like allegedly what I was seeing with my own two eyes looked like two new appliances right here. Okay, just my opinion. A lot of other people on Reddit were saying it looked like she had some other work done. Maybe her teeth had gotten uh, redone or fixed or veneers. People were going on and on about what was going on with the way that she looked. But I think it was quite obvious that something had been done in some way, shape or form, some augmentation. Um, it was really right in your face. But the point is, um, people were like, where would she get money to be doing something like that with all she's been up to? The fact that she divorced her husband, he's got no money. They've been through the ringer. They owe all this money back. She owes money here, there, everywhere. Um, and the fact that she's just a huge bitch, like where did she get all this money from to do this kind of stuff? And how did she get it done when she was like at a halfway house or in prison? People are going on and on questioning what was going on here on Reddit until eventually some saviors showed up with the goods, with the information, letting the rest of us know that Sherry Papini has a new man. Of course. Okay, so allegedly Sherry Papini's new man, he lives in Orland, California, and she's going down there and living with him because she doesn't have anyone else to live with. This is alleged. The guy, I don't want to give out all of his information because, you know, heaven forbid, people go find him and harass him about it. But supposedly he owns a car dealership, of course, and Orlan probably gave her a car and that's how she's getting around, even though she's demanding money back from her ex-husband. Okay, but what has happened is that allegedly the family of this man is coming forward um, and they are speaking out and being like, we're really concerned about him. <laughs> like look just like some of her prior boyfriends he's not the sharpest tack you know in the drawer and he could be easily manipulated especially because his wife died like a while ago and he's raising some sons on his own okay the sons are older now like almost teenagers or around teenage age um and a lot of people were speaking out on reddit about this and be like oh dear god no because I had no idea to go back and take a look at it. It is alleged that Sherry Papini was really inappropriate with a young guy, a 15 year old guy. She was sexually inappropriate with him um, when she was in her 20s, okay? There wasn't like a huge age difference, but enough where you're like, what's up with that, right? And Sherry just seems like the kind of person who would be inappropriate with anyone at any time. So my buddies on Reddit are like, oh, I'm getting kind of worried about this guy and his family. And the family that is there allegedly around lurking, kind of talking about it back and forth with people anonymously is like, we're really worried too. Um, but we'll be keeping an eye on this. 
Meanwhile, Sherry Papini is in court with her ex-husband trying to get more money from him in their divorce settlement. Like, way to screw the guy over for years and years. Leave him with the kids. I mean, thank God, though. I'm sure those kids are much safer with Keith. But like I said, Sherry could go back and fight for some time with them. But what I'm hearing, and I didn't realize this yesterday when she appeared in court, is that Sherry isn't asking for anything with the kids, actually. She almost seems like she's um, ready to move on with this car dealership guy, leave Keith and whoever else behind, and enter a new stage in her life where she'll probably be kidnapped once again. Yeah, so I mean, I have to be honest with you, this whole boyfriend thing is all alleged, um, hasn't been fully confirmed yet. We'll see what's going to come out. If we see Sherry driving around in a new Tesla or, or Bentley or something like that, then maybe we'll consider it confirmed in the back of our minds. And, you know, maybe she is going to make some kind of a deal to write a book. She's got a lot of money to pay back, like hundreds of thousands of dollars is my understanding of the whole shenanigans. But I'll tell you what isn't a ledge. <laughs> it's a little something people are going crazy about on Reddit having to do with Sherry Papini's mom. <laughs> All right, I don't have time to talk about that here tonight, but look out for my next video in which I'm going to give you more information about Sherry Papini's family and what they were up to while she was allegedly abducted. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight. I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we head down yet another rabbit hole.